Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A. So today's video is being brought to you by me, April. But check out this wig right here. She's gorgeous. This is from a company that I previously worked with, I do believe once. So this is the second go round. This is a transparent 13 by four lace frontal curly bob. I'm gonna show y'all real quick how your unit comes while I get prepared, okay? Talk to me honestly. Oh, you miss my touching So it's time to customize this unit, you guys. As you see, the wig is overlapping on my ears, or over my ears. So I'm gonna just take this really handy dandy, you know, baby hair styling brush with the rat tail at the end. I'm gonna part over my ears like so. And this is like a really good up close and personal view. And as you see, I just cut that extra excess lace wig part off. Girl, save those edges, save those sides, okay? I told y'all this in like five other videos. They are selling those as sideburn hairs, lace sideburn hairs or baby hairs, okay? Save them. You could collect enough of them. You could make your own little business. Or girl, you could just have them as extra backups. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm being serious though. So as you see, this unit is a transparent lace as it's stated on the website. It's 16 inches, 150% in density, excuse me, 180% in density. It goes up to 250% though. It comes in a variety of lengths from eight to 16 inches. And you can get it in a four by four closure, a five by five, or this 13 by four. Now, as you see, I'm gonna take the unit and I'm just gonna flip it up right here because I'm ready to spritz some hairspray on this bad boy so I can let it stick. Now, I wanna call the company Ashy Mary, that's what I want to call them, but we're gonna put a little razzle dazzle on this. I think that it might be called a shimmery, a shimmery. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might be really pronounced a shimmery instead of Ashy Mary, because I mean, like, on the real, who wanna name their company Ashy Mary? That don't even sound good. But y'all know I'm known for chopping up names, okay? Now, after the second layer of hairspray, you can put three on if you want, but I just choose to do two because this is just for tutorial purposes. You let it get a little tacky, and then you go ahead and press that lace down. Now, like I said, it did say that it was a transparent lace. And I know y'all like, girl, where? We seen the white. We seen that white lace. Honey, where is it transparent? We seen that white lace. Now, this might not be the transparent that you guys are thinking, because see, there's levels to this. There's actually really levels to this, and I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being for real Z right now. There's levels to this. Now, see, when lace wigs first started out, I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story. They didn't have a lot of varieties of lace color. There was transparent, which was more or less this white color lace. And then we had the brown lace and the light brown lace. It wasn't very many skin tones or basically there wasn't a lot of options when you know wigs started coming out so this is the transparent that is more or less for all skin tones it's not that transparent uh now where it's so transparent it's just like a see-through like you can't barely see the lace no honey you see the lace on this but it will work for 
I'm not going to say most tones or all tones because that's like saying one size fits all and we already know it does not. Okay. So I'm going to say this transparent will work for a nice variety of skin tones. However, you have to know a trick or two to make the lace work for you. You got to know a trick or two to make the lace work for you. Yes, baby. And, and, and honey, I got some tricks and trades up my sleeve for making the lace work for me. Okay. Straight up. I know I got bars and stuff, but I'm just being for real. So this lace is a transparent lace and it's a great lace. As you see, it's melted. It's like, you know, it's there, honey. It's there, but you can't barely see it. And I do have little tricks for that just to make it disappear. You know, sometimes uh, you have to press lightly and not blow dry the lace. I think it's really important if you don't blow dry a lot of the times the lace, because I've noticed over my time of being here showing these tutorials, the heat can do a little bit damage to the lace. Now, when I say damage, meaning it's going to have you going outside looking a hot mess, girl, it'll make it look more noticeable. So if you can air dry while you apply, then that's a good thing. And when I say air dry, meaning you don't have to blow dry the hairspray or the glue. Let it get tacky and just let it dry like I'm doing right here, wrapping it up. That'll be like the best, I think, for you for any lace wig application. It'll help a lot with the transparency of the lace and the application purpose. But listen, you guys, this is how it came out for uh, a shimmery, a shimmery. We call it a shimmery. I'm going to leave all the information down below for you girls. I know y'all want to check it out. Let me know what you think of this pretty highlight unit. Look at that. Edges and all, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day. This came out really, really cute. I will link it down below. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure y'all rate and comment and subscribe on this channel and on this video. And let me know what you think about this. 16 inches, very natural looking. The highlights are beautiful. I like the colors in it. And I like the realism. The lace too. Oh, 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 oh,